Hey guys, King Gath here with Bethesda Mod School. In this lesson, I'm going to just quickly show you how to use the tool called Voice File Reference Tool 2. And that 2 is actually important. If you search for this on Nexus, you're actually going to find there are two mods with the same name, but the one with 2 by Green T101 is the one you want. This is a really powerful tool. It works incredibly well. I use it all the time when doing quest development, and I want to share it with you guys, especially because of uh, the next lesson. I'm going to show you guys how to do some dialogue scenes where you're going to want some player dialogue. Um, so I want to show you how you install this and the beauty of this tool is uh, and what it basically does is lets you search through all the vanilla dialogue and listen to it so you can sample it and quickly extract it and this is especially awesome for player dialogue but if you're really clever if you go check out a mod like settler and companion dialogue you can actually take lines from a lot of the settlers and the companions and there's enough content there built in the game that you could create whole new sequences for them uh, by sometimes getting clever and stitching together lines or just reusing existing because the pool is actually shockingly deep because bethesda tends to use a fairly small pool of voice actors so you can often take ones they did for one character and use them for another, especially when you're talking about the generic characters like settlers and things like that. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use this tool. So basically you're to download it, you're going to just come in to uh, come to this mod page, which if I forget to link it below, anytime I forget to link something I said I would below, um, feel free to comment and remind me and I will happily do so. But I will try and remember to get that up here for link to this. Hopefully you can see it on the screen though. And uh, once you download this, it is real simple. It's just uh, you extract it wherever you want. So I'm going to just extract it here real quick just to show you guys that the actual exe can be run right from there uh, i actually keep mine in uh, i put mine in my uh, fallout 4 tools directory just so i know it's always there with all the other tools that bethesda provides and as you start extracting files it does put that it creates an extracted files folder in that same folder and that's where it dumps those so once you launch this uh, vfrt2 exe the little rubber ducky icon you're going to get a screen like this now, one of the things you might run into, and I run into it periodically, is this whole section over here uh, will be kind of grayed out. And if that happens to you, usually it means you just need to go to full screen. So I find if I just jump between restored and full screen, it will usually fix that issue. But uh, there are a couple of things going on with this screen. So this first thing here, it will find any DLC and it even finds any games you have installed. I believe that the first time you run it, there's a little bit different screen where it asks to detect your games. It's been so long since I installed it, I don't recall. But uh, once it's got access to your games, you'll see them here, including all the DLC. And then generally you'll want to work from fallout4.esm. There are there are potential issues with uh, uh, the with the terms of service for including anything from the DLC. Um, we just tend to avoid it. So I don't know. You'd have to go check the TOC, terms of service TOS from uh, uh, Bethesda to see what you can get away with including on these. I don't really know what the rules are. It might just be that the mod has to have a master requirement for these in order to use them. But I tend to just stick with stuff in fallout4.esm. So once you have the ESM selected, you can filter for what you want. So like if we want to go for player, um, you can see that uh, it'll quickly find the, the player voice. Or if we wanted something like, you know, we talked about the companions, you know, we could find uh, Paladin Dance and whatnot. So you find the uh, NPC on the column at the left here. So I'm going to go back to player because this is where I tend to do most of my dialogue stuff. And now note that with the player, um, you do need to, you end up with two. So you have to get... The, the female and male voice, you have to do them independently of each other. And I'll, I'll show you that what that looks like in a second. But once you have the voice selected that you want, you'll see all their lines over here. And then in this section right here, uh, you can filter it down. Just make sure you have words checked in because sometimes if you, once you get really into this and you start uh, doing more research and you start learning about, learning where to find the file names in the CK and whatnot, you might want to search the file names, which is over here. And then you have to check that box in instead. Um, but, you know, if we're just trying to figure out like, uh, who are you? We just want to find a line that says, you can see that often, especially with the player, there are multiple versions of what them saying it. And so wonderfully with this tool, you can just double click these lines. I don't know if you guys are, I don't know if this is going to pick this Who up or are not. you? But uh, you can listen to you? them so you can catch the inflection and see if it fits what you're trying to do with your particular uh, dialogue scene. Who so are you can you? find the ones you like. And then once you find it, generally the uh, male and female version will be the same. So you can look at this file name here if you want to grab it. And Who are that's, you? Not a, that's not a guarantee because the voice actors were probably, I'm, well, I'm positive they did it independently of each other. So they would have gotten slightly different direction. And I think the way Bethesda works is I don't think they necessarily have the writers of these in the room with the directing, and it might be some context is lost. So you can tell the performances are quite a bit different between the male and female voice actors. Uh, so you might want to double check that. If you have multiple versions of, uh, of a particular line that you're about to use, you might want to just, you can mix and match and whatnot. Uh, but basically when you go to use these lines, you just right click on them, hit extract voice file, 
and then you'll be given the screen. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. One is you can just grab the original .fuse file. Uh, I tend to find problems with this. I find when I just take their existing fuses, even if I rename them, they don't always work correctly. So what I end up doing is I always extract as a WAV file, and then I will uh, use those and just rename them to match the sound files that I'm setting up. So if you look, if you watched my initial Dialog 101 tutorial, you will know how to uh, how, where to find the sound file names. And um, I will walk through this again in the player dialog thing. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how to install this tool, talk about how it works a little bit, and get you guys prepped for that. Because I think some people will need will just love to know about this, even without having done or without doing any of the the scene tutorial. So I wanted to separate these two things, even though they're tightly related um, so then once you have your file selected here you can come over here and just change the file name so if you had the file name from the CK what you were going for you could paste it in there alternatively you could type in whatever you want for it and then once you've got your name in there you click rename here and that'll make sure that the name actually gets applied to the file and then hit extract and now like I said if we go back into our folder here under extracted files uh, you'll see the the ESP name that you selected or the SM and then the you'll see this name here and this is the the voice the uh, voice type name and then you'll get your actual wave file and uh, I should be able to yeah, have a program you? called quick look that I can just preview that quickly uh, and then you bring that up and there you go you got your extracted wave from the game files and then you can rename that and fit it into the game however you need to so I will give a better demonstration of this in uh, my next lesson where we go over the scenes but uh, for those of you who don't need to know about scene work this should be enough to get you guys going I highly recommend always extracting as wave and just recompressing them uh, because I, there seemed and maybe, maybe it's just a fluke maybe it's just when I first was learning this I just had bad luck with the fuse files or with the um, there's also this option of you can extract the wave file as well as the lip sync independently every time i've done that every time i've done the fuse it just hasn't worked correctly when i renamed them whereas the wave files have always worked so this is anecdotal i could be wrong it's probably worth for those of you guys who are just getting started to experiment with this maybe you could quickly prove me wrong maybe i was just i just kept something in memory that was a, a mistake because i didn't know what i was doing at the time or it's also possible that the version of voice file reference tool i had been using back when i logged, logged this in my brain as something to remember uh, it could be that that was buggy because this has been updated multiple times since I learned that. So any, either way, this is it's very easy. Um, find the find the character you want, search for part of their dialogue here, and then you can double click them to listen to them. Right click and extract to get access to them. And then you can also do things like copy the actual dialogue. So if you want to copy the text right from here and then paste it into the creation kit or whatever you're using to build your mod, etc. So really, really powerful tool. I think this is one of the, the best community tools we have for quest design and highly recommend you guys check this out and use it. So voice file reference tool two. make sure if you if you search for that, you grab the one with two in the name. It is by green T 101. All right. So stay tuned for the, uh, player see the player dialogue scenes lesson which uh, will take and expand on this information so you guys can actually have the player talking with your custom NPCs.